when producing orthographic drawings in Pro Engineer, we need to select the new drawing, give it at this stage a name, make sure there are no spaces in the name, if you do have a space use an underscore, then say OK. We want to select the empty template, landscape, A3, OK. At this stage we want to insert the drawing view, so right click, select insert general view. Once you've done that, left click where you want it to go, and we have a block here. We want to see the front view of that for the elevation, so say front, then apply. And we also want to scale up so we can see it easier. You may not have to do this, but if you do, this is how it's done. Once you've done that, say close. Now we want to move this strong view across a little bit, but we can't do that because it's locked. So right click on it and untick the th lock view movement. Then we can drag it to where we need it to be. At this stage we're going to change the display settings so we don't have a shaded view but we have the hidden edge view shown. So up here we've got the hidden line view. Click on that and then say the repaint. Something for you to note at this stage is the hidden lines are not displayed as dashed lines. They're displayed as light grey. But don't worry, when you print that out they will be displayed as dashed lines. Now what we want to do is insert the plan. To do that right click, so insert projection view, and then move this yellow box up and left click. The end elevation is very similar, select this again by left clicking on it, then right click to say insert projection view, move to the left, and left click when you're ready. Now we're going to add center lines to the drawing. To do that, click on the show and erase button, make sure we have the show selected here, and the center line option here. Show by part and show all. So it show all, yes, and this is added to the center lines. I want to keep them, so accept all. We'll do that. I'm finished with that, so I'm going to say close. To add the dimensions is fairly similar, it's the same sort of command. You click on this show all. Make sure the show command is selected here. Unselect the center line and select the dimensions. Again, show by part, so show all. Again, yes, I'm not sure. You can see accept all when that's done. And on this view here, you'll see that some of these dimensions are a little bit untidy. By right clicking on the drawing view and say clean up dimensions. As Pro Engineer cleans up the dimensions for you. To accept these, say apply, and you can see how some of these, all these dimensions now have been put into lines to make them much tidier. Once you've done this, click close. It's been done. You may feel that some of the dimensions are still a little bit confusing. Like on this drawing here, some of the dimensions are a bit confusing. You can select them and drag them closer to where you want them to be if that's the case. You can also change some dimensions to be in only one decimal place. To do that, double click on a dimension and say no decimal places. OK. And that's brought it down to there. Study your drawing closely at this stage to make sure your dimension is the way you want it and spend some time getting it all right. If you find that things like the scale get in the way, you can select them and drag them down below. If you feel some of the dimensions like this don't show very much or aren't showing what you wanted to show, then select it. Move so you see the arrow both ways, right click and say erase. Once you go to repaint, this dimension should have disappeared. Now to add manual dimensions, what you can do is Select this here, New References. Select where you want it to go from and where you want it to go to. Middle click the mouse button to show it and there we have the new dimension shown. If it's not in line you can drag it out. And there it is. Quite tidy in line there.
now that I've finished tidying up all the dimensions of my drawing, what I'm going to do now is drag the views across the page to give myself a little bit more room to draw things like the title block and put names on the drawn views. To start with, I'm going to start with the end elevation. I'll drag that to the, the side. And now the elevation. I'm going to lift them slightly. Now that I'm happy with them in their new position, I'm going to add notes to the drawings. These notes will allow me to say plan, elevation and end elevation at each of these views. To do that, go to the pull down menu insert, then note, and in this menu it comes up, select make note. I'm going to pick a point to start making the note. Type in the note at the top, and when you've finished typing it, hit the green button. Finish by clicking the red cross, and your note will be displayed here. Repeat this process now for the other two views. So, make note, click for the start point, type the note in, hit the green tick to accept it, and red tick to display it. Repeat that again for the end elevation. And there were three notes are there. I'm done, so I'll click done return. So I'm quite happy with these. One thing you should do is to make sure that these are all in the same line. So I think that this one needs to be moved down slightly to make it in a line. Now what we'll do is we'll add the title block to the drawing. We're going to add this title block in this bottom right hand corner. So to make this easier, I'm going to zoom in on it. Use these tools on the right hand side of the screen here to draw the title block. So I'm going to start with the line. To draw the title block, select the line tool on the right hand side of the screen. To start drawing a line, you left click, and to finish drawing a line, you left click. This first line must be straight. You know it's straight because the line will turn green. Left click to finish drawing the line, and again, left to start. So just click to start, click to finish. The title block, if you draw it like this, is nice and easy. Just like that. Now, at this stage, we're finished with this part of the schedule, so we're going to middle click the mouse button. That's the rubber roller ball in the center. Click that. And that's accepted means. What we're going to do now is we're going to draw the third angle projection symbol in this space here. To do that, you'll need to select the circle tool, draw a small circle, go to the same center, draw a larger one, then select the line tool. I'm going to zoom in to make this a little bit easier now. I want to make sure that the this top of the line, the top of the circle here, is being touched by the horizontal red cross here. You can see it's turned green there. So I'm going to draw a line there, come vertically down until it touches the other one, while maintaining the vertical line. Again, you'll see that is green. I want to do the same for the larger circle now. There we have it. And we'll fill in the rest of the third angle symbol there. What I need to do now is draw the center line for this. So I just click the line here, draw a horizontal line across, and draw a vertical line here. Middle click to accept that. 
click drawing. Now these, this line here, and this line here, we need to turn into lines. To do that, select it by left clicking, then right click, go to line style, select the style as center line. Apply and close and repeat that for the next one. Now that our title block has been drawn, we need to fill in some of the details for it. To do that, use the Insert Note tool again. And this time you can insert all the relevant notes that you need in your title block. You can use the type of notes I'm going to write in here to help you with yours. So, I'm going to click Make Note. Click the Start. and type in one note. Green tick to accept it and red tick to place it. I'm going to repeat that for the next line. And again for the next line. And again in the bottom. Once you've done that, you can click Done Return. And what we can do now is select each individual note and send. Try and make them aligned down here as well, so it's nice and tidy. Our drawn now contains all relevant dimensions, center lines, notes to tell what Our drawn now contains the labels of the views, dimensions, the lines, and the title block.